As firefighters working the Fay Fire finish their 24 hour shifts, it's here at the Siskiyou Golden Fairgrounds where they come to rest. We're the behind the scenes people. We do everything that nobody really gets to see. When battling a fire takes days to finish, it's people like Cal Fire engineer Cody Dennis who are responsible for creating a base camp for them to rest. Given the scale of the incident and where we're going, we can set up to 5,000 people in a night. Uh, it takes a lot of work and a, normally a long night. According to Dennis, this camp at the Siskiyou Golden Fairgrounds was set up Wednesday night for those fighting the Fay Fire in Etna. Meals, uh, preparation, sleep, and uh, engine rehab to get them back out on the fires. He says the Fay Fire is small enough to supply firefighters with the materials out of the Cal Fire warehouse, but as the summer progresses and fires get larger, so do the camps. If this was any larger of an incident, we would no longer be working out of our warehouse now. We would go over and we'd set up over at the fairgrounds. But it's not all sleep and eating for these firefighters as they take a break. They also spend their time preparing to go back out, which includes creating hose backpacks. They have to unroll hose, re-roll it, and then put it back in a pack so they can be in service before they go back out in the line in the morning. Thankfully, Dennis says it doesn't take much to replenish the needs of the firefighters before they go back out to the flames. Basic necessities, firemen, we're very simple. <laughs> Cal Fire's Cody Dennis says once the Fay Fire is controlled, they'll pack everything back up until the next camp needs to be opened. In Wairika, Elizabeth Ruiz, NBC5 News.